Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zaino with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. As we do with every announcements, episode 44 of We Are Heroes is live right now. Make sure you check that out. Also, join YouTube. I think we're doing YouTube this week. Make sure you join me on YouTube so you can see all the 15 Minute Fuels in order, and as well as the We Are Heroes, so you can catch up on those as well. So please comment and share and enjoy all the things we do. Plus, if you're listening to this, we are also on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and iTunes. All right, when everybody's getting on today, we're going to we're be talking about our One Month to Win series. That is currently a free series, a free video course I have for you guys. If you go to imhero.com forward slash free series, then you'll get the One Month to Win. So make sure if you haven't yet, go on there, subscribe, register, so you get that entire video course. So I'm going it through with you as well. So it's 20 videos, so it's you know, basically five a week for four weeks, so we have one month to win. That's where we get it from. So today, it's going to be, we're going to be going over um, day number eight. Each one builds upon itself. So day number eight is talking about course correcting. Very important. So now here, we're winning. So sometimes we're on the road to winning and we're, we're achieving our goals. Remember, I had you guys just pick one goal in one area, one, one subtopic to, to win in this month. And we're, we're writing things down, we're tracking it. But sometimes, you know, when we have our eyes set on the gold, or the goal and the gold, it's very easy to get very romantic on having to stick the plan exactly. Saying like, this is exactly the way it's going to happen. But in life, you know, there's the unknowns. And the unknowns could actually bring you to a better goal much quicker, faster than you ever dreamed of. So this is what we call course correcting. That's why I'm going to tell you, when, when you make a decision, make a decision and go. A lot of times we're afraid of making the right decisions. Am I, am I making the right choice here or there to get to my goal? Well, the answer is pick one. Make a decision and as you move forward, you'll be able to get more information. Life will give you feedback. You'll see the unknowns pop in your life and then you course correct. So I mean, if I make a decision and I run into a wall, that's great. So what I do is I, I run into the wall and what do I do? I course correct. So it's almost like bumper balling, if you guys ever play that. So you got the two bumpers on each side of the bowling lane, so there's no gutters. So you throw the ball down, the ball hits this one, and then this one, and then this one, and this one, and then it hits the pins. Same thing with life, achieving your goal. You might be going in a great direction, you're making great time, you're making great results, and then you hit a bump. All right? Or you, and a bump in the road is not a big deal, but sometimes you got to hit a wall, and it's okay to course correct. All right? Change it up. Switch something you have to do to get back on track. You know, I always use the example of... Uh, you know, dieting for a show. You know, the body's doing what you want it to do. It's going, going, going. And then all of a sudden, it hit, you hit a plateau. And you, you might want to think, and I start to think there's either two things to do. If I hit a plateau of weight loss, take out more food. But then I have a thought leader. We talked about thought leaders. And he actually added, instead of taking out food, he actually added food for three days to get my metabolism going again. A little course correct, went back down. And then it took me the rest of the way. So see, these little course corrections on the way are going to be very valuable. And if you are tracking things, right, if you're tracking it, you'll get to see any of the variables that might be something that we got to correct. So you might be getting there too fast, too slow. It all depends what you're doing. So if it's finances, if it's your health, Let's say you're eating really well and then you hit a bump in the road, all right? Let's say, um, for example, let's say it's a diet. We'll stick to diet. It's the easiest one to go over. Let's say you're dieting and you find yourself, you, uh, you kind of overindulged in food. You raided your, your, you raided your pantry and you kind of you ate all the cookies and the crackers, all right? So that, that took you off course, right? So what do we learn from this? How do we course correct? Well, number uh, there's a couple course corrections. If you find yourself really like bingy, okay, out of emotion, then, you know, or, or you're self-sabotaging, you could sit there and examine and say, okay, what's going on? Why, why did I eat a whole jar of peanut butter uh, last night and self-sabotage myself? Well, I was hungry, okay, so whatever it is, maybe you skipped a meal, like I skipped a meal, I went five hours without eating, so my blood sugar went low and then you did. I'm just, these are things that could happen. So you say, okay, course correction, don't miss meals. Make sure I bring a snack with me in some way, shape, or form so I don't go more than four hours without eating. Because you notice that at four hours, because you're keeping track, that at four hours you really start getting low blood sugar and you really start getting, you know, hungry and you really look for anything. You might look for any type of source of food. And then maybe it was late at night. So maybe it means you go to bed a little bit earlier so you don't have the risk to do that. If it is um, actually hormonally, you know, where you want to eat like that, then your, your L-dopamine levels could be low. So that's why I always suggest maybe you need to start having some raw cacao 
um, maybe an hour before that would happen. So for me, I'll, t I'll tell you mine in a second. So you get some L-Dopa, which you could buy at the store, or raw cacao, raw chocolate, and get some get some squares in around maybe five-ish, all right? So that'll raise your L-Dopa levels, and you won't have that emotional, bingey feeling. So these are all little course corrections you do. I remember uh, uh, getting ready for my contest. You know, at night, I would start feeling that binginess come on, and so I realized, okay, so that's when I started doing a whole head of cauliflower, you know? So I would... I would uh, chop up a whole head of cauliflower, made it like rice with my beef, and I would just sit there with this huge bowl of uh, ground beef and a whole head of cauliflower, raw cauliflower, I would eat it, and I would with a bunch of salt, and I felt totally satisfied, filled. So I, I just started hacking. You know, I made sure because here's my goal, so I need a course correct, and the course corrections are basically ways you find out to get back on course, um, acknowledging I, I messed up here, but what do I have to do to avoid that, right? So, a lot, again, stick it with your diet or, or health. If you do something and you, and you blew your diet, ask yourself why. Um, you know, I was starving. I didn't, I didn't eat all day. You know, with all these things, you get to see why. Or maybe you found yourself um, 8 or 9 o'clock at night at a, pizza, at a pizza parlor, all right? So, of course, you can have a slice of pizza. You follow what I'm saying? So, you get to know ahead of time, if this is my goal, what, what were the variables that, that brought me off course and so now I know how to tweak those things like a violin and get you back to doing what you got to do. So this is where course correcting is huge and allow yourself the gracefulness to do it. Just think bumper bowling, right? All the way down the lane, then you'll hit the pins. You're not going to be perfect. You know, very seldom of you are going to throw the ball and you're going to be perfect and hit the goal. And the reason why I know you will be perfect because if you were going to throw the ball down the, down the alley and make it perfect, you would be you, you would have already hit that goal already. So the, reason, the areas that we're having issues hitting our goals or goal we want to hit is because what happens, you started going and you hit the wall and you didn't course correct. You hit the wall and said, I am no good. I can't stick with this. I am failing at this. And man, I'm just too old for this. I just don't have the time because you just hit the wall. All right. So when you hit the wall, acknowledge the wall, right? Forgiveness for yourself. It's okay. Why is there a wall here? And why did I hit the wall? And examine it and say, well, these are the reasons why. You take 100% responsibility. See, these are the reasons why I hit the wall. And now I'm going to change my daily routine. I'm going to make sure I protect that and I course correct. Also, that's one way of course correcting. Another way of course correcting is let's say, you know, uh, for instance, the We Are Heroes thing. So let's say I'm going into a direction I want to go in with the We Are Heroes thing. And let's say along the way I have, let's say my, my focus is on getting on stages right now, right? So we're getting on stages and let's say I have this opportunity here because I'm moving forward. An opportunity goes, knocks me on the shoulder and goes, hey, listen, we have, uh, you have an opportunity to do nutraceuticals or, or videos in, in a fitness realm. Still the hero, but still over here. But yes, but I was looking this way. So sometimes I have to course correct and say, well, hey, listen, this is still the goal, but I could still do a lateral lateral move, course correct, do something here, not be so romantic, right? New opportunity pops up, take that. And that new opportunity can maybe open the doors and take me higher than I ever dreamed of. So this is where, you know, you have your goal, you have your vision. There's the vision, there's the goal. The goal, you go to hit, the vision is there. A bunch of goals end up to be your big vision. But if something, if a new opportunity comes along or an unknown that you could grab and you could take, go for it. How do you know you're making the right decision? You don't. You don't know. But you know what? You do it anyway. And what happens is if it's a great decision, you're going to be happy you did. If it's the wrong decision, you hit the what? Here, here I'll use the screen, right? Here's a, then if it's right, boom, you hit the wall. And what do you do? You hit the wall and then you, you figure it out, learn from it, and then you move back. And then hitting your goals and hitting your vision, I'm trying to do this, will be like bumper bowling all the way back and forth until you hit your goal. So this is where course correcting is an essential. But this is why you got to keep track of things and be self-aware so you know where the issue is happening. It could be the people, the procedures. You know, you don't blame the circumstances. You take full responsibility to do it as well. All right, so hope you enjoyed that. If you are liking this, please do the thumbs up, the big hearts. I'll go through. I'll say hello to everybody that's on right now. And any questions, just put it there. Hey, Anna. My mom's on, of course. Good afternoon. Hey, Pete Strombach. Good to see you, bud. Josh Wade just got ninth at a pro show, right? He did two big pro shows. Tell him hello. Hey, Jen. Hey, George. Hey, Kat. What's up, Mr. Jared? Good to see you. Thanks, guys, for sharing. Hey, Ron. Good to see you, bud. Hey, Rich from New Jersey. Sean, always good to see you as well. Tabor, thank you for sharing. Luke, 
Thanks for being here. All right, guys. So tomorrow we're going to do uh, number nine. Uh, let me just, um, you know, uh, what you call it? Uh, what was it? Day nine. Day nine. Day nine of the uh, uh, one month to win. And uh, episode 44 is today. Make sure you guys check that out. And also watch it, share it, love it, enjoy it. And also check out all our social media because we have really cool things there as well. Uh, because I was traveling and we haven't been so much on the uh, Snapchat and the and the Instagram, but we'll be getting that routine as well. Also, direct message me or private message me on things you would like to see. Because, see, we could use Snapchat and Instagram to show you kind of document kind of things we may not get for the We Are Hero show, but it could be simple things as, do you want to see my daily eating routine? Sure, we'll put that on. Do you want to see my daily workout routine? Whatever that is, just let me know, and I will, I will give it to you guys. See, I, I want to document things, but I want, I want to document for your value. So if you find value in it, if you want to know something, just let me know, and we'll get it for you as well. So have a great Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow for 15-Minute Fuel, where it's just in 15 minutes a day, or a little bit under today. We'll feed your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.